Hello there! Hey, if you've arrived at this video, then you probably want to learn more about alfalfa seed. And I'm not talking about the alfalfa seed you use to feed cows, okay? Cows do like alfalfa, but I doubt they're doing searches on the internet. So I'm hoping that you're here to learn more about the alfalfa seeds and how to sprout them uh, the way humans like to. And I've got um, a couple of pictures here just to show you what a great uh, alfalfa uh, seed sprouted looks like and if you haven't had alfalfa sprouts in the past you're really missing out on something they are tasty and they're extremely easy to make I'm gonna walk through a couple of these here here's um, up close and personal what an alfalfa sprouted seed looks like and alfalfa is known for a lot of its fantastic uh, health properties but for just a minute here, I want to talk about what you'll need if you want to sprout your own alfalfa. Okay, you just need a, a quart-sized sprouting jar. Okay, and I'm just going to walk through this step by step. And then you just begin by placing two to three tablespoons of seeds on a plate and carefully inspect them for any damaged, withered, otherwise unhealthy seeds. Then you want to discard any bad seeds. Prepare the top of the jar by covering it with woven fabric screen or hose. And the other thing you can do is buy a sprouting lid and uh, if you'll go and click in the link that you'll find in the description field near this video either to the side or below then uh, you can sign up for my course over at learnhowtogrowsprouts.com or you can just type that into your browser learnhowtogrowsprouts.com and, uh, and receive my free sprouting course okay we got a lot to go through here so then you cover the seeds with water. So you're just going to take the jar, fill it with water, and then you just let it sit overnight. You want those seeds to seep, um, soak in really well, and then in the morning you just drain that off. You just remove the water, you turn the jar over, let all the water drain out, roll the container around, distribute the seeds all around the inside, let it remain on its side. Very easy to do. And they'll grow best in slightly warmer temperatures, which is true. You don't want it to be too warm, you don't want it to be in direct sunlight. And then you just want to rinse about three or four times a day. Now the nice thing about having it in a jar with that lid on is you can swirl it around and drain it out. And again if you want to see a video where I walk through this step by step just go over to learnhowtogrowsprouts.com. Continue rinsing for four to five days until the sprouts are ready to harvest. And simply give them a good rinse and shake away any excess water. And then once the sprouts are sprouted it takes about five days. Then you just put them on a, a tray or a plate place them in the sun, get a little chlorophyll on there and then they're ready to eat and they are fantastic and here's what they look like when they're all done so you can uh, you can do a, one of these every couple of days uh, well it depends on how fast you eat at them but uh, it takes four to five days to grow them and so um, depending on how many you eat and how many sandwiches and salads you make with this will determine uh, how long it takes and how often you'll do it. Again, go over to learnhowtogrowsprouts.com. Just type that right in your browser and you can sign up for my free course where I have 20, 30 videos now walking you through ways to sprout all the different um, varieties. So go ahead, hop on over, I'll meet you inside.